following on from one of our previous videos about how to delete a planner plan. If you haven't seen that one, check this out. There were some comments that some people still couldn't delete their plans. Maybe the button just isn't there. This video's for you. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gavin Jones from MeTime, which help organizations make their employees' lives easier, happening to use Microsoft 365 to do it. If you want to know more, then check out some free training in the link in the description below. Or if you want to find out how we can work together, then book a call using one of the links in the description below as well. But on to the video. So we had some comments um, which will step through in order of complexity about how far you need to go to get your plan deleted. So like I said, if you haven't watched this previous video, that's the simplest way. It is hidden in a place that you wouldn't probably expect where it is, which is why I made that video in the first place. Then seems obviously there's a lot of complexity in Planner because Microsoft haven't actually joined some things together, which will step through. And that might be why you can't delete some of your plans. So first of all, one which wasn't that polite, there's no option to delete the plan in Planner Details. Try again and talk, talk so much. I'm presuming he meant don't talk so much, get to the point. So maybe still thinks I won't get to the point in this video, but it doesn't have to watch. But if, if, the, if you are like Brian, then if it's just the delete button isn't there, here's a few things to check. And what, the same one from Sebastian, what about plans that are not assigned to a channel, private plans? So first of all, we need to, to understand, is it truly a private plan or is it actually a to-do list? Because Microsoft have try to show them all the same. So if you click my plans, that isn't actually just showing you private plans. It's also showing you Microsoft to do, to do lists. For example, this one that says test, that's got a little icon next to it, is a private plan. Now, if you've got a tr genuinely private plan, so if you'd set up a planner, a new plan in planner and said, I want it to be private, personal, then you would still do the same thing. Plan details, delete this plan. If you've got a private plan that you haven't created, second thing to check, you might have been invited into someone else's private plan. You can't delete that plan. They need to delete it. So presuming you've checked both of those things and you still have not found the delete button, next thing to check, well, is it a Microsoft to-do list instead of a private plan? And so this one that says inbox looks exactly the same. They used to have a difference in icon. They've now got the same icon. I don't know why Microsoft have changed that. It makes it really confusing. So it says privacy is only you. The icon's the same, but I know that that it even says plan name is inbox. That isn't a private plan. That is a Microsoft to do to do list because I used to use Microsoft to do extensively. Uh, you can set up different lists and groups of lists in Microsoft to do. They, Microsoft's trying to be helpful. They show up in Planner and I've got two tabs open here. Whether you view Planner through Teams and the sidebar app or you jump straight into the Planner app in a web all of these things should be the same now that Microsoft have aligned everything. But this inbox here, if I went to delete it in Planner, I don't even get a link to the plan details. So maybe that's what you're struggling against and that's why you can't delete the plan. You actually need to come into Microsoft to do, get your list, right click on it and delete the list. And that's how you get rid of it. So in Planner, it's just showing you other lists from Microsoft to do in planner, but now they're not even delineated about, you know, which one's which you can kind of tell because once you jump into it, there's no grid view, there's no board views, no charts, there's no other views available for a Microsoft to do to do list in planner. If you jumped into a private plan, then you get all the same headings up here. And that's where you should be able to delete plan. And probably the only reason why you can't delete a private plan is if you don't own it. If you've not the one that's created it, if someone shared it with you. If that's not the case, then it's just a bug. <laughs> if you have created a genuine private plan, it's not Microsoft to do. You own the plan. It's a personal plan and you still don't get that delete button. Then 
there's no other option apart from to just go and either speak to your IT admin and check they've got settings on to allow you to delete plans if they, they exist or just raise the Microsoft support ticket. That is just the way that you need to do it. Next level of depth, which Jorma Winkler put, what if that button is just not there? That delete button is just not there. So he owns the business, is an IT admin, He's got many leftover plans from former users and deleted teams, channels, etc. And he's still got two plans that just don't have that delete button where it should be. And so he might have already tried this, but the next thing to try. So if you've got a shared plan that lives in a team or a group and you're an owner of that team, that plan details and delete plan should show up. If even if you have created the plan and you've put the plan in a team, if you're not the owner of a team, you still might not be able to delete it. So second thing to check is, are you the owner of the group or the team where that plan lives? And if not, try and get that owner to delete it. Maybe even add another owner and get them to delete it if it's a bug. Second thing to check is, is it a personal plan? Are you the owner of the personal plan? Is it genuinely a personal plan or is it a Microsoft to-do list? And we've gone through that. And then only the last thing to do that's left for you as an option is to go into Admin Center and just delete the entire group, assuming that you don't need that group or that team anymore. So if you do have uh, admin rights in the global admin center is just a case of going through teams and groups and then just finding that old group where that plan lives and just delete the whole group. And so every time you set up a planner plan, it used to set up a group for you. Now we've got private plans. It seems like it's still setting up a group even if it's a personal plan. So you can see I've got personal and private plans here. Every time you set up a team, it sets up a group which a planner plan can live in. Or you can just set up a group without a team and then add a plan into that. So there's a few different ways that Microsoft have got to create things because I guess they've got a lot of baggage every time they create a new app and where it lives and, and all that sort of stuff. So only the last resort, if you still can't get rid of it, is just to come into the admin center and just delete the whole group that it lives in. So obviously I didn't have that issue. I could still delete the private plan one from my planner, but if the delete button just isn't showing up for you, that's the last resort of just coming and deleting the whole group. And maybe you need some IT support to do that if you don't have access rights, um, but only if you have, if you tried everything else before, that might be the thing that helps you. So let me know in the comments in this video, which one of those helped if you didn't see your delete button from the previous video let me know if you still can't <laughs> just still can't delete it let me know i probably can't help at this stage it probably is just a bug that microsoft needs help with so raise the support ticket and let me know what they come back with in my experience they tend to not be that helpful but i might be wrong let me know in the comments below and if you're like this video and got some value of it remember to give it a thumbs up before you leave click the subscribe button and the bell icon so we've got new videos coming out at least every week and thanks for watching so far i'll see you in the next one